Hello, and welcome back to Calendra's Legacy. We have just uh, stolen the Silex of Chortle back from the Cardinal and destroyed it in uh, Peabody's Forge. And while we, we broke into the museum and stole a diamond as well. Now, we're going to find out what comes next. I've been waiting for you all day. Come up for a drink? This seems too easy. I forgive, but I never forget. I should write that down. Remember that inn on Candywine? Ah, perfect. Just bring those jewels. <laughs> looking for. Let's, uh... Mercedes a rough time in Mirkwell. Now you're calling it even. Make sure she does not meet an untimely end on this icy night. Great. More, uh, escort. And this bloody noisy background. After meeting Mercedes at the bridgehead, today port and land of the bank. Gaston the Red has a small base of operations for the Deep Shine Thieves Guild in this district. Gaston has hired several butchers to kill you in the past. Find and put an end to Gaston. What about the, uh, the expert difficulty? Uh, there are plenty of warehouses in this district. Make tonight a real success by stealing at least 5,500 loot. Mm. Interesting. I will stay on uh, the same difficulty I was playing the previous mission on, though. And just collect what loot I find along the way. Alright, let's get started. Uh, so we've got 4,030... 
cash. I don't know if that relates to what we uh, stole before. I've got, still got the sword, the vampire blade. Uh, it's apparently priceless. I don't know why it's different from a normal sword, though. Maybe it's better against vampires. We have a note from Mercedes, so we'll have to read that as soon as we start the mission. It's the main reason we've come to the old industrial park tonight. Uh, the reassembled Zilich amulet, an artifact of incredible power. I have no idea what that is either. Right, we've got 4,000. We have another underworld tip for 200. For a superstitious thief, this tip offers the chilling nostalgia of a trip you once made to Craig's Cleft. Only this time you might get more than a lucky charm. I don't know what that means, but it sounds interesting. The more potions of black lotus nectar, but uh, 3,000 is not what I'm going to spend. I'm going to buy the tip because I'm curious. Uh, you know, it's usually not a good deal, but I'm curious. Skeleton key. Rare contraband. The skeleton key's bit has been successfully, skillfully filed to open a variety of locks. Cost 2,000. Well, that's interesting as well. I'd assume there's locks. We can open those locks otherwise, but. Uh, no, we don't seem to have any rope arrows or water arrows, so I probably should buy some of that. And uh, two rope arrows is usually good in case I put one somewhere I can't recover it. Uh, we've got one fire arrow for work, good or bad, one gas arrow. I should probably get some more broadheads. Alright, now we've got 3,000 left. I could get a potion of black lotus nectar. I don't know what it does or why I would want it. Buy the skeleton key, which I am quite tempted to do. Yeah, let's do it. We've still got a thousand left. Uh, moss arrows. We've got two already. It's probably okay. Oh, do we need fire arrows. We need mines. Again, once armed, you can only disarm with your lockpicks. I've never managed to do that. I don't. I kind of don't even believe it's actually possible. Uh, let me buy, let's buy a mine, if we do need to kill this uh, Gaston fellow, that might help. Let's get another Moss Arrow, 500 left, hmm, Fire Arrow, Moss Arrow, let's grab the rest of the broadheads. Alright, I think we're ready to go. Oh, it's snowing. Hammers, hammers. <clears throat> lots of hammers. Lots and lots and lots of hammers. Uh, okay, that's... What did you hear? What? Who are they, who are they fighting? Oh, there's an archer here that's attacking them. Oh, I'm not gonna intervene just yet. This looks like. Look, archer's hunting. Guards versus hammers. Interesting. Huh. Come on out! Alright, let's make a save at the start of the mission. Yeah. They're running off to hunt. I hope they don't come in here because I'm going to be in a bit of trouble if they come in here. Like this. Come in here, yeah. Ah! I'm like, oh, that's the wrong save. I'm supposed to be quite safe in here. I would have thought. Why don't you calm down? I guess if they do come after me, it will be the sword I have to use and. Someone has been in here lawlessly. Keep your eyes open. I'm gonna count to three, so you better mm -hmm. come out. One, two. Yeah, yeah. Well, this sword doesn't make me more visible. Well, as far as I can tell. Unlike the normal sword. 
All right, let's give it up this time. Uh, well, he hasn't. You know I'll eventually find you, so why don't you just come on out? Gotcha! <laughs> Run for it. No, I shouldn't. Here! I have a present for you! Ouch! Uh, yeah, this is gonna be bad. You better just keep watching your back. Yeah, this is not good. Here, I have a present for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, honey. What? Where did you go? All right, you asked for it. Zigzag. This is bad. This is very bad. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I don't know how I'm supposed to escape. Uh, I've got hammers on my tail now too. Oh, well, maybe they're gonna fight the other guys for me. New objectives, what happened there? Um Payback, find Gus on the road and finish him off. No, steal a hand of glory from the thieves, that must be the new one. Do I have any kind of healing? I don't, and I'm in quite bad shape, just like last time! On the other hand... Oh god, did he see me? I think he saw me. Run away! <laughs> Run away, hide. Oh, went right back here at the start. Okay. God, look at that carnage. Well, I can hear more fighting. But, I think I should be a lot safer now. Oh, healing potion. He's got a healing potion. It needs to be mine. Ah. He does too. Let's wait for the first one to finish. Hooray! This is uh, desperately needed. Alright, let's drink that one to it. Do you have a healing potion, sir? No, I don't think so. Can't really tell. But, uh, I'm definitely happier now with quite a few more hit points than when I started there, so. Come here, out of the way. All right. That's much, much better for me. Much more survivable now. All right, so we still have those hammers up there. I don't know what I'm doing, but all the uh, hollow blue seems to have died down. So first, let's read the note from Mercedes, which is why we're here in the first place. Garrett, I've taken a look at the Zilich amulet. I ran it through a series of tests this morning and used all three of its charges, so don't be surprised if it doesn't do anything special until tomorrow. I'm not certain that can be of any more help in deciphering its powers. The fact that it even exists still has me surprised. I suppose I could hold on to it for safekeeping, but you might find it useful after you meet me by the bridge tonight. I've heard a rumor that the amulet unlocks a set of doors that have been sealed for a thousand years. There could be treasure. Anyway, I'll talk to you tonight. I'll check the map. So, we're going to meet Mercedes at the bridge over the old factory line. 
uh, the Hammer Seminary, I think I was running up around there, I don't know, yeah, I started around here at the warehouse. So I kind of ran all the way around here and dropped back over there. So we're not far from the bridge where we need to meet her, but there's a pawn shop, that's usually good for loot. Slums, usually not good for loot, but there's definitely places to explore before we get to the bridge. Uh, who's this? That looks like one of the thieves. I think they need to fall to my blackjack because I do not like them. Nope. Got your neck. Oh, damn it. Picked his pocket and that made his... Uh... Oh. Made me put away my blackjack and get out my bow. Which is a little unfortunate. So I tried to knock him out with my boat. Not really a thing that's going to happen. So there's the thief. He had something on his belt too. That I want. Um. Oh, these two hammers both died. Interesting. What's he got then? Thought he had something on his, on his belt there. No? Alright, maybe it's this fellow. Oh yeah, he had a holy symbol that's worth money. That's nice. Alright, well he's given up. Oh no. Somehow he just saw me. God damn it. I thought I was in pitch blackness. Pop music here. Yeah, he's coming up here. And... Well... I don't quite know how he saw me from down there when I was in the dark, but hopefully I'm he... gonna count to three, so you better come out! Yeah? One... Two... You're gonna count to three? I'm scared. Quite as pitch black as I thought, and the uh, bloody light gem is misleading. Give up and go back. Thank you. All right. No. I don't want your presents. I don't want your presents. I want your death. All right. I was again messier than I planned. All right. I also have an underworld tip to read, which I didn't read. The hand of glory is an old rumor among thieves. You had a lucky hand yourself once, but a true hand of glory is something told of only in the old stories. At least that's what you thought until now. A true hand of glory is rumoured not only to lull the occupants of a house to sleep, but also to spare the thief and his friends from the enchanted slumber. In addition to this, the hand supposedly douses firelight around the thief. The downside, it can be used only once per night. Your informant claims the deep shine thieves have located a true hand of glory, and that there is more than one way into their secret hideout. Find out if he's telling the truth. Right, so that's why we've got the extra objective. Nothing to do with these thieves that uh, were dying all around here. But rather because of the tip that I spent money on. Alright, that's good, because I would not have known that it was a thing otherwise. Oh, that needs a key. Or, did I have a skeleton key? I thought I bought the skeleton key. Ah ha ha! Ah ha! I did indeed. What have we got here? Diving equipment. Whoa! Lots of equipment. Gas mines, water arrows, flash bombs, speed potion. Loot, 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 loot. Oh, I like this. I like this. Already, I think that skeleton key has almost paid for itself. Well, no. Total 185. It cost me 2,000. Already, it's definitely not anywhere near paid for itself yet. Alright, let's check the rest of the shop front. Oh, there is more valuables. What's that there? I don't know. Can't seem to pick it up at whatever it is. Sorry, 315 loot. So, yeah, still not paid for itself, but still, 
worthwhile. I'm sure it'll open more doors around the place. What's this? Where's that skeleton key again? What does this unlock? Yeah. Oh no, that needs an, that needs an actual key. It's very odd to have a, a key there. What is that thing on the shelf? Ah, oh, it's a little flask of nothingness. All right, what is this house? This is... Oh, this is the pawn shop, of course. And what are those valuables? What does this uh, note say? Note from Keeper Orland. Oh, well, keepers are leaving notes here. Keeper Lauren, we congratulate you on your early return from Lampfire Hills with the understanding that the Zillage Amulet and its three eyes must now be in safekeeping in the vaults of Srilok. We understand that Mercedes Porsche Lexus evaded our agents in Merkbell, but was indirectly responsible for the destruction of the Silex of Jortal. Keeper Lexus may be considered renegade at this time since her active role against the Hammers in the city's old factory district. Our sanctuary beneath your part of town makes direct confrontation with the Hammers awkward at best. Perhaps she has some information we do not. The Hammers have many abandoned factories and warehouses in that district which could secret, secret any number of relics with dangers similar or greater than the Silex of Jortal. Unfortunately, the district has also become quite dangerous with the rash of murders, and despite an increase in hammer patrols, the whole area is turning into a warren for thieves and rogues. Whatever madman is responsible for the recent murders, the City Watch proclaims is also likely to hold up in the vicinity. Please ensure all entrances to the sanctuary are secure, and send some agents to investigate the sundry warehouses for anything suspicious. Again, congratulations on your recent acquisition of the Zillage Amulet. Perhaps in the months ahead we will see what secret it unlocks at those old doors in the South Cavern. Best regards, Keeper Orland. Alright, so the amulet uh, unlocks doors. There's a Keeper Sanctuary with an entrance here. Possibly that's the lock I found just down there. Um, so the Keepers are definitely around here. And leaving notes around, which is not good. People will know they exist. But uh, the best piece of news here is that our friend Mercedes, her full name is Mercedes Porsche Lexus. Uh, that's brilliant. Also very, very silly. All right. Oh, I am so dead. Keep all and assumes I have successfully recovered the Zillage Amulet and no doubt expects a glowing report before midwinter when he anticipates opening the southern cabin doors. It will be a sad day indeed when I have to face him and explain that I don't even know where the amulet has gone. Perhaps Garrett has it. Perhaps he gave it to Keeper Lexus or she stole it from him. Perhaps she found it herself and assembled it. I lost track of it in Merkville and have no news. To make matters worse, Keeper Lexus seems to have gone the way of her occasional paramour and drifted from the Order. She has been seen of late with Garrett, though the extent of their relationship is still unknown. I have been doing research on the North Sanctuary doors in an effort to discover what we might find if we are ever able to open them. Personally, I believe the seers of the Old Mirror, who helped establish the city before Arkin dug his tomb in Lampfire Hills, have laid some prophecy and treasure beyond the portals. If Garrett were to think a treasure were hidden in our sanctuary, I have no doubt he would turn on us to find it. If he does have the Zillage amulet, our own order may be in grave danger. Oh, just behind those doors there. Uh... Oh, I could put the little candle out, but I can't pick up the little candlestick. Uh, so just behind those doors is the Keeper Sanctuary. Well, there's no doors marked on here. Uh, also, the fact that Mercedes used to be a keeper, that's news to me. Uh, we have a <laughs> amulet of fire that I can't pick up. And more loot. Well, 500 so far, it's not doing too badly. Oh, a ladder? Where does this take me? Up here? We have a key, the pawn shop key, and a window I can open for some reason. Empty chest, a training dummy, and some chairs that aren't really in use. All right, but the pawn shop key is good news. I assume that is not just the front doors. I hope it's not just the front doors. I hope it unlocks that uh, lockbox down here. But I don't know. See, this statue has a keeper symbol on it, so this is very clearly a way to more 
keeper places. Oh, uh, no, I can't unlock that. I'm just to double check. Oh, I definitely can't do that. Alright, let me make a note. Uh, keepers need key. Alright, we're gonna have to find a key somewhere. Oh, it's a bell, that's what it is, right. Not a flask. Oh, up here we have a crate. That's not very exciting, but we have a basketball! And a bunch of tiny, tiny bells. Alrighty. We have robbed the pawn shop. And... I don't think there's anything in the slums, or is they, if they have anything on them? No, let's just get them out of the way. Okay, so... We have, uh... I'm oh, hearing odd music here again. Oh, what's happening here? Are they gonna have a discussion? Hmm. <coughs> well, it sounded like they were having a discussion, but, uh... Maybe their scripting is broken. Maybe they just need to die. <laughs> and his friend is not even suspicious. Well, we put the fire out for me, which is interesting. And they had a speed potion and some gold on them. So much for these thieves. Well, this one's dead. Let's make it look like an accident. He fell on the fire and died, and the other guy is just fell asleep and wasn't able to save his friend. Come on. Come on. Almost. Oh, there we are, that'll do. Like, he's, like that's his pillow, right? He looks like he's just sleeping comfortably in the snow, in the cold. Yeah, I'm sure he's very comfortable. Okay. So much for the pawn shop. Now, there's a couple of roofs over here that look like it might be possible to get to. Sort of. Maybe. I see a rope arrow. I mean, I see a beam that I could probably stick a rope arrow in. So let's see if that gets me anywhere interesting. Let's grab that rope arrow back, if I can. Nope. Alright, I'm going to have to jump back to there, I guess, and get it. Uh, let's see, where does this take us? Alright, I could jump over to there, perhaps. There's this, this little ledge here. Hmm. I'm not sure this helps me at all. I don't know what this place is. This is, the, this is the hammer's place. Can I stand on this ledge? Yes, but can I open any of these windows? The answer appears to be no. So maybe there's no point in being up here. Oh, hello. The hammer priest dude. Oh, almost fell off. Don't see me here, sir. No, there is no one here. There is no one to identify themselves. Uh, Alright, well this takes me here. Well, there's a beam with a thing sticking out of it, and a metal, a very metal walkway. Hmm. Ah, uh, this is uh, this warehouse, I think. No, this warehouse. Yeah, because I just walked around the edge of that one. Okay. Ah, I don't think he's gonna hit me, right? Let's see what we got up here. didn't hear me. Well, that's noisy. Very noisy pipes here. So we've got a window there. I don't think I can get in it, can I? Hmm. Looks a bit small for me. Where does this pipe take me, though? Is that a gas arrow, I see. Looks like a gas arrow. There's a hammer guarding there. 
Seminary. <laughs> Cast arrow, indeed. Thanks. Oh, there's somebody who's uh, upset. Where are they going? I mean, presumably they're after me, but I'm surprised they're running over that way. Alright, what do I want to do? I don't think I can get down here safely at all, so I need to go back. Uh, there's no wood around that, so I'm definitely not going to be able to get there. Nay, they, thou shalt not spy me out. Alright, so much for this warehouse. Let's go back down. Alright. Alright, you can see me. Well, that's where we started down there, okay. Thou shalt not escape me. Our God is tested! Ah! Yeah, well, keep making your noises. I'm gonna go back here. Out of your way. Alright, well, that was a bit of a roundabout way to get a gas arrow, but I guess it works. So now I need to get my rope back. Like that. Alright. That music is annoying. Where are these other hammers? Are they still wandering around there hunting for me? I did notice the priest appears not to be... Well, I speak too soon. The priest does appear to be wandering... Oh no, that's a hammer coming... Patrolling or looking for me? I do... Don't know. He's just patrolling. Should be easy enough to knock on the head. Oh, maybe he saw these bodies and that's why they came running out. I don't know. Well, he'll, he'll be safe enough there. Another dead thief. Wait, well, he does have something on his belt. Come on. I think. Let's bring him into the darkness so it's safer to. What? just dropped out of my hands. I'm banished. Alright, well, if he had something on his belt, that's too bad for me. Where's my skeleton key? Hey, Ah, oh, it's dark in here. I don't know what happened to that priest who's coming up and down. Perhaps she's in there. I'll come back to that door in a minute. Yeah, or perhaps she's in here. Oh, this goes out to the roof. Another rooftop. Is there anything of interest here? Well, I could jump across to that one, which is to the west, perhaps. There's a way up there. That doesn't get me on the roof, but that gets me down, I can do it down. Well, there's the bridge where I'm supposed to meet Mercedes. That's a good vantage point anyway. An advertisement for Throne of Whites. 810 nightly at the Guthrie. It's a big advertisement for a theatre production, I guess. Unless I've invented movies by now. And there's Grindle and Boggs. Uh, I don't know what their business is. Doesn't say. Well, that's the factory, I guess. Or was the factory. Well, there's the priest's fellow, so they must uh, be going in through the lower door. Maybe that will give me an opportunity to knock him on the head. It's nice and dark here. And he's coming up. And he does not know that I am here. Oh, he's got a light. Might. Hmm. Something's all behind him. 
my skeleton keys. Does it work on this door too? It does indeed. Someone. Come out of thy shadows and face my steel! You were supposed to be... I heard that. Stop right there. You were supposed to be... So for it now. ...able to be knocked out. Alright. Now you're gonna be... Now you're gonna be hunting for me. So I should probably relocate. Last bridge. Seems to be no one on the guard on this side. So let's just discreetly make our way around to the shadows here. Ooh, I hear a sp I see a spider. Not just here. Can I... Oh, it's a red one. You know what I'm going to do? I see explodey barrels. I'm going to use my fire arrows. Because that's going to kill that spider really well. Don't know what else it'll wake up. Um, well, somebody's opened a gate. Hmm. So it's definitely alerted some people there. Someone with a very interesting laugh, and somebody to the north with a gate. Can't see anyone there. All right, I'm not gonna keep watching. I don't think this fellow guarding the place here. Oh, Are the corpse just floating in the midair. Odd. This fellow didn't notice. Oh, turn the other way, sir. That is right. Come with me, and you shall sleep here in the snow. Along with your brethren. All right, what what are you guarding? Yeah, door that doesn't open. On the other hand, there's a banner. So, banner that hides nothing. Boring. Oh, there's a priest. There's our priest friend. Can I get him this time? Kind of doubt it. He kind of noticed me as I came up behind him, which was. Annoying. Stand and face me, villain. Nay. My hammer awaits thee. Well, if you wish. To do your magics, you have to face my sword as a vampire. I have no more time or patience for thy tricks and unblackjack ability. All right, that was a bit a bit unnecessary, but all right, whatever. Okay, now ooh, there's another hammer around. Now see what's through this door that he was going in and out of. There's somebody else there. Facing away. <laughs> and he has a warehouse key. Or warehouse man key. Alright. Oh, there. This is a hammer warehouse. Alright, more loot. No more footsteps. So I think that's everyone. Do these break? I don't think they do. No, that's not creepy. There's nothing there. We got the funky music again. So, oh, oh wait, there's a uh, there's rafters. There's a window. There's character getting stuck on rafters, unable to move. God damn it! Come on, get up, Garrett. Can you not move? No. It's kind of stuck in the wall, are you? Come on. There we are. Yeah, fell off. 
That's right, I'm not stuck. It's been, being not stuck is more important than falling than not falling off. It's a very narrow rafters. Alright. Alright, you get stuck on them all the time. I guess they didn't test the whole um mantling onto them from below. They must have just tested going on from above. Alright. Oh, this is the way up to the roof. Uh, yep. Uh, Skeppy in the chat has just asked, already on mission three. I'm already on mission three because mission one was really short because I foolishly finished my objectives rather more, rather sooner than I should have. I didn't explore the whole town. So on the first mission, I only collected, what was it, 10 out of a possible 1600 loot, uh, which is quite entertaining. Uh, entertainingly bad. Still entertaining. Um, can I get on that roof? I could come up there. I would probably help myself. I can get down here and get back to the bridge. Let's get on the roof. Let's try the jump. Let's try the jump because I'm curious. I do have a speed potion, so I can definitely make it with a speed potion, even if I can't make it normally. Oh! Ouch. So. Wow, the music in the snack club is... or whatever, I just blew through that. There was no reason whatsoever to come up here, and I put myself for nothing. Well done, Garrett. Well done. Although... It does give me access to this ledge and this window. I don't think I've been there. Uh, Skaki in the chat says, Mission 1 has tons of super interesting secret hidden stuff, which is very likely true. Uh, I know I didn't see most of it. Well, nobody heard me. Bell. Hammers. A banner! More hammers. What's this fountain? Anything interesting? Well, it's got fire arrow next to it. I'll take the fire arrow. Oh, that's... It's a healing fountain. Yay! Oh, it's expired now. But I'm back to pretty much full health. That's quite nice. What does this say? Nothing. A plaque that cannot be read. Interesting. This is Site Zero. Well, the only way in seems to be through the window we came in. So I guess this is just. Uh, I've got a drilling machine. Um, I guess this is just some extra loot and healing, which I certainly don't mind the healing at all. Alright, I think it's probably time uh, for us to head to the old factory, uh, to the bridge over the old factory line. Because, oops, what's the best way down? Hmm, kind of drop down there. Let's go around the ledge and see. Is there a better way off this ledge? Um, no spoilers, please, back to Skaki. I think, oh yeah, this is above that walkway I was on before. I drop down to this ledge, maybe. Maybe I will not take too much damage. <coughs> Ouch, not too much, alright. And let's just go down here. Alright, time for us to head for the bridge, meet, meet with Mercedes, and see what we're all about. No guards about? Good. Actually, probably a good point for a hard save. Alright, here she comes. Hello, Mercedes Porsche Lexus. Why are you walking right past me? Hello, I'm right here. Who are you? Hello? Talk to me. I need to stand by the fire. It's fucking cold. 
Could you possibly be any more helpful? I can try. I've been wanting to show you something for a long time. But it's locked up in Darkwatch, something they've been hiding from you. Get me into Grindel and Boggs, and you won't be sorry. Okay, though, you sit tight till I give the signal. Okay, I guess I'll wait near the gates. Once I let you into Darkwatch, just use the amulet on a pair of locked doors. I'll meet you later at the Inn on Candywine for something warm. Two objectives. Uh, so I'm not going to plan the airport bank, it's sad. Letter into... Maybe, on second thought, maybe Mercedes is right. Let her into Grindel and Boggs so she can let you into the Dark Watch Keeper Sanctuary. I see, is that what Dark Watch was? I was wondering what she was talking about. Can I steal your key? No? Shame. Alright, anything else here on the old factory line? Well, let's check out. Oh, there's a guard. Which way are they looking? This way. I don't think I'm going to be walking up there just yet. But, I can come here and uh, probably get down behind him and clear the path for our friend. Must fall it fast. Knowledge is our weapon. Alright, he can sleep. Yeah. Not very dark, but it should be fine. So, do these gates open? I'm sure they do. I'm sure, yeah, there's a switch there. Big lever. Um, I'm sure I've got to get those gates open. So, when I blew up the spider earlier... Oh, hello, Mercedes. And now I've knocked out the guard. She's coming here. Great. Yeah, she never does anything herself. Oh, wait, she can open the gates. No! Oh, oh. Open it again. Well, that's not fair. Why is these damn NPCs? They can open gates with the uh, mind control. Objective complete. Let her in. Okay, she's in, but I'm still stuck out here. This is kind of silly. How do I get in? Is there another? Is there a way in I missed? Hey, where did you come from? Nay. Uh. Oh, there's more! Where are, where, where are they all coming from? I don't have an escape plan here. Uh, oh, they're both after me. Uh, do I have flash bombs? I thought I had flash bomb. But I need to flash both of them. Sleep. Sleep. All right. Well, Garrett, the master thief, has snuck into this area without anybody seeing him, except several people. Uh, okay. Let me find. Go back to plan A. Let me see if I can find a way into Grindel and Box here without random hammers chasing me everywhere. So, it was in here that we saw a spider and destroyed it, and got several people interested in the process. Um, maybe if I go around the south side, oh, there's another hammer there. Maybe on the south side I will have a way in. Oh, I see some beams over the bridge. Is there perhaps any loot sitting on them? Uh, probably not. Metal as well, I can't get repairs into them. I think they're just there for show. Yeah, alright. See, I would have made them out of wood and put a coin or two on them. Ah, more hammers. Well, that's a bloody big statue with a bloody low resolution texture. Yes, they come, are they coming here? They are coming here. God damn it. You, sir, mind your own business. There's not here for the. Especially not a thief for thy hammer to crash. Much to thy disappointment, I am sure. Oh wait, perhaps there is such a thief. Alright. Hmm, 
map, by the way. There's another warehouse there. This is a textile place. I'm sure they're going to become important. I'm going to going to go and see if I can find where Mercedes ran off to. I'll just scout around a little first. We do have a hammer guard at the front of this place. Oh, we have a switch for the streetlights. He has an unsettling prayer. Let's unsettle the gods. Prayer for the vanquished. Lowly worm, thy sins have laid thee low. May this prayer over thy wasted and roguish form release thee through my hammer's pounding as a ball from the crooked mallet sent through hoops to better greens. I did not know the hammers were into crooked, but I guess it kind of makes sense. They have hammers. Brother Therm, I'm locking up the chapel tonight. I really don't care if your dealings with the circle of stone and shadow get you excommunicated, or if this note seems imprudent. If you do have any further dealings with them, be advised to let Master Nightfall know that his request for materials in the construction of his so-called secret labs will not be met due to recent economic setbacks. Quite simply, he will have to find another supplier. Furthermore, the recent noises in Grindel and Bog should be investigated. We don't want the police poking around in our warehouses. Lastly, since Brother Adrius' disappearance, there has been a profusion of frogs in the basement. With winter come, I'm sure they've gone into hibernation, but in the spring we will need to have something done. Your brother in the builder, Brother Tom. Um, right. Uh, to answer, there's another question from Skaki in the chat. To answer your question, Skaki, no, and please do not give anything away. There's, uh, if there's hints and secrets to be told, that's for a second time I play the mission for stuff I've missed. But I'm going into this to just to see what I find as I go. Alright. Apparently there's a way into the basement of this place. Maybe, I don't know. Or maybe it's just a dirt this frog's there. How do I... Oh, I see. There's a window there I can reach. So maybe. Let's see how do I get in. With some crafty platforming. Oh, this, that's a nasty jump. There's barely any room to stand on this ledge. Maybe that's not the best way in, but maybe it's Minter's way out. Let's see if I can get it. Make it, though. Nope. I'll try jumping around the corner or something, see if that works. I wish Mercedes had told me she could open the gate and then I would have just followed her in, but nope, she just ran on ahead. Can I make this jump? Nope. <coughs> Ouch. I couldn't even jump at all. How am I supposed to get into Grindel and Box? Well, maybe there's a way in from up there. I'm going to have to scout around some more. And see if there's an alternate entrance or something I've missed. Maybe a way from get from some rooftops in there or something. I mean, there is a rooftop here, but I don't think I can get there. There's all these broken windows, but they're all small. It doesn't really look like anything. Now, maybe I can get on that rooftop. I know that uh, Broadhead's going to stick into snow, right? Yeah, I wonder if a rope arrow will stick in and bear my weight. Well, what do you know? Hmm. Although I'm too far away there for me to grab onto. Yeah, let's try another one. Oh, I've got tons of them. Interesting. Well, that's better. Alright, that's pretty, pretty strong snow there. Okay, well... There's a wooden beam with the lamp on it, but I don't really think that... Oh, no, maybe that does help me, actually. No, maybe not. Maybe not. But I could probably get a rope arrow into the same 
into the same pile of snow on this roof from the other side and then climb up to that open window. I think that's the intended way. Let's try not to hurt myself too much. Ouch. Ah. Ouch. Oh no, there's no snowbank over this side. Well, that's... terrible. How am I supposed to get up there, then? I can certainly put a rope in that beam, but I don't think it's... I don't really think it's going to help me, is it? I mean, I can climb up there and maybe kind of slide down the... angly bit there. Alright, let's try that. This place is locked up tighter than a... Uh, some metaphor or something very tight. But, with any luck, I will be able to get in with that rope. Very awkward going around these tiny ledges, but uh, it's possible. And now I can reach the rope. And now I should be able to make that jump. Alright, well, there's one of my rope arrows. Go on, I'm not getting it back. But I am inside. Right, an old factory. I know there's somebody with a crazy laugh in here because I heard them before. I also know Mercedes is in here somewhere. Oh, look, did I kill that spider too? Did I get two for the price of one? Um, is that Mercedes? I think so. Yeah. So she's already in there waiting for me. Great. Just waiting for me to find my way in. the crazy guy talk to a wall. So you got anything to say, for me, say to me, Mercedes? No? I thought you were supposed to be letting me into some keeper place. Well, maybe you're bugged. Maybe you're not. Maybe, as usual, I have to do everything myself. Where does this go? Keepers. Don't talk of keepers here. Those wretches watch. They watch me. Garrett, are you here? Are you here, Garrett? Wouldn't you like to know? Well, he certainly is, uh... Interesting. Oh. Is there someone there? Nope. Ugh! The Builder has come to punish me! He has the box factory key. All right, let's get him off the stairs. Let's just put him out of the way down here. Come on. Uh, he doesn't have a name on him. Right. Well, you look interested in what was happening down here, Mercedes. But uh, is this the way to the keepers' place? That fellow was certainly talking about keepers. That was a water arrow. appear to be much else of interest down here. And you're still keeping very mum. Alright. That was my only objective, was to let you in here so you could let me into the Dark Watch Keeper Sanctuary, but, uh, oh, I also need to find out what kind of prophecy the Keepers are hiding about me. Even if it's shite, you can probably find a way to use the information to your advantage. Alright, well. Maybe I just need to explore the factory. Maybe when I find what should be the entrance to the Keeper's place is when I said you will come to help me. Alright, that's where I just came from. Um, some bones. Looking out over the entrance, that's where I came in. Anything in there? Oh yes. 
Oh, what arrows? Nice. What's the note say? The freight elevator is broken. Do not use it under any circumstances. Well, now I want to use it, but... Uh... Alright, it explodes. That's why I shouldn't use it. Alright. Ooh. Well, that's a long way down, isn't it? I don't think I'm going down there. I don't think that's a good way to go. I hear footsteps. I don't know where they are. Is that just Mercedes? Is Mercedes hunting for something? Alright, whatever, Mercedes. Uh, anything down here? Just more fire. <laughs> well, there seems to be nothing else in this factory. Hello? Hello? Don't tell me your scripting is broken in this mission too. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, it has been an hour. So I'm going to cut this episode here. I'm going to look up to see if this is a perhaps some kind of scripting bug and there's a way around it. Uh, if so, it's not the first in this mission. Um, and I will see you again shortly.